Hey, what's going on, dudes and dudes? Welcome back to All the Mod 7. Guys, we're super excited. Oh, I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am. We are going to be getting into auto crafting today, which is really fun. Also, been messing around with this teleport pad, which is the mining dimension, in case you guys were wondering. Took me a bit to figure that out. But yeah, last episode, I went ahead and moved all of our stuff over to our Applied Energistics 2 area. Um, yeah, we filled up a lot of space. All of these guys are like half full. So yeah, also moved uh, all the modium stuff. And I also have all of the bees uh, going to our AE system. So we're no longer storing anything down there, including the um garden cloches yeah so we're storing all that stuff here as you can see right here we have eighty-five thousand of the surface quartz crystals and then over here we have sixteen thousand redstone so it's definitely working for us we're gonna catch up to iron so it's gonna be crazy and then over here we got our diamonds coal and we have our um granite we have our netherite scraps and then all the modium stuff we have been uh processing that today i went ahead and also bred up the max amount of all the modium, uh, yeah, vibranium and unobtainium beads. So we're going to get right into this today. So what I want to go ahead and do, first of all, is automate the process of creating more storage, right? So we're going to need the processors to be updated or to be auto-crafted. I want these guys to be auto-craftable. We're gonna need quite a few of these inscribers here. That's our main goal for today. And we will get into the nitty gritty. So we're gonna need some of these, it looks like. We're gonna need, oh yeah, and also we finally have slime automated, like it's coming into our system automated, so that's a big win. I figured you guys would be proud of me. If you're proud of me, leave a like. It'd be cool if you did. But anyway, let's go ahead. And I don't, I'm gonna do a three by three, so we just need nine of these. Um, we already have one, so we can go ahead and mine it here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in that. Oops, put that back. Put that candy back, I ain't buying you all that mess. So yeah, processor's gonna be automated first. How much do we have? We, wow, there's a lot of redstone in here. I didn't know, this, know that we had, which is cool. Which is cool by me. Oh, and I have to, uh, we'll do that later. I'll, I'll show you guys that later. But I have some crazy things to show you guys. It's going to be great. So, um, we are going to be utilizing an input-output chest. Let me go ahead and get the materials together because I, I need to think about this. Like, because it's a little bit different now. All right, so I was able to come up with a method for us to go ahead and automate this, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of messy. So what it means is we can't have one of these every other, like every one of these. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here and then one here for each of the processors so they'll have their own little system going. And then we'll max these out with max speed upgrades. But let me show you guys how it works. It's very simple, just a little messy, so we can, we can clean it up with some uh, blocks in the front of it just to, you know, kind of um, hide some of the wires or something like that, which would be a good idea. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab... Do I have any silicone? I don't, so we need to make some real quick. All right. Then we're going to grab some redstone and some gold. And so what we basically do is we set up an ME interface on here to put in the items that we need smelted. So redstone, I say smelted, I feel dumb. Redstone, um, silicone, like we'll have that automated and then gold as well. And when we have that magic combo, um, those start working. So the silicone gets pulled out of the back here, pushed into this guy. As soon as it's done processing, it pulls it out here and puts it into the top of this bottom one. Uh, the redstone gets pulled out uh, from the side here, goes all the way down and into the back of the inscriber down here. And then the gold comes out the side over here, gets pushed into this inscriber. And then after it's done, it gets pulled out here, goes underneath and up in the bottom. And then those get mashed together. And then once that's done, it takes the item out here, comes up on the back, and then puts it here. So all we have to do is put an ME interface here and then an MP import bus here. 
like so, oop, like so, and like so. And then we connect that over to our system, which we're going to be running the cable through here. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to run an ME dense cable and connect those in, and then we will have many, many storages, which is going to be great. So I'm actually going to be running three different colored wires, and then we can cover the wires with the ME facade, so it'll all look the same, but we'll be able to run it here, and it'll look good as well. So yeah, but we need to go ahead and start making the ME controllers. Now I do have one here, but we need to break this guy real quick. And if I put this here, it will probably give us an error. Um, let's see, can I just click this? No. I need to grab the block break breaker. This guy here, universal block remover. It removes these reinforced stone brick um, and allows us to do that. So my intention is we're going to wrap the entire bottom with these guys, and it will probably freak out. Yeah. So we can't do that quite yet until we connect them together, but that's where we're going to be running our cable from, which is really cool. So these are working again really nicely. All right. So let's go ahead and try to build it here. I'm going to build it the opposite way so that you guys can... I don't know. I don't know why I'm going to do that. We're just going to do it like this. Call it good. Um... See, yeah, one block gap, and this goes here. Perfect. All right. This is the spacing, you know, up and over. Um, one over. So two over, two up. Two over, two up. And that will allow us to do all the cool things. So this is going to be our input chest here, because uh, it's closest to this guy. Um, so, yeah, this is for the silicone. So we can go here, take this guy. Um, I can put this guy in here. I don't have any silicone. Probably all gone. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll set up a way to get silicone much easier. Okay, so here we hit add, shift click, submit. So now it will only take out silicone and put it in here. Bam. So that's good. We need to make other presses for it as well. So we'll probably have to hijack one of those ones and get it working, uh, which is okay. Uh, <clears throat> so then we're going to take this guy out and this guy will be for redstone. Um, yep. There we go. And I believe we, yeah. Uh, wait. Redstone needs to be in the back. Okay, very important, the location of these so that we can get power and everything to the right spots. So remember that if you're following along. I'm gonna bring these out too, just to give us a little extra more room. Okay, so, and then redstone is for this one. So click it here, put one of those in, shift click. Bam, so now only redstone can be put into the side of here. Yep, there we go. Okay, the reason why the um, silicone is in there is because as when I switched this over to pull items out, it pulled one of the silicones before I put the filter in. So don't worry too much about that. And then for this one, we're going to use diamonds for this one. Um... How do we do it there? Just straight into the side. So like this and pull that in. That again is going to pull an item out that we don't want it to at first. Um, but that is okay. So now we can set the filter to be diamonds. So now only diamonds will get put into this slot. Bam, perfect, okay. So we have the items coming out of here going to the right places, which is fantastic. So all we need to do, why? Oh yeah, I can just power from the bottom. I was trying to think of like how I could power that, but that's okay. All right, so this is silicone. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come right out the bottom. This might actually be a more efficient way than mine over there. So, yeah, there's that, too. Um, yeah, so that goes right in, right through. And so we can also, we can also break this. 
and have it do one of these. So now it's automated. Well, not automated, but that's working. So what we need to do now is grab an energy cell. I've got quite a few of these in my disposal right now. And we're gonna go ahead and set this one to our zone. I'm gonna break it. Oh, I have pickup on still. Yeah, we gotta turn that off. <clears throat> okay, and then we need to craft an energy acceptor, which is right here. I'm gonna craft two so I don't have to craft any more of them. And now we get to wire power to these guys, which is really, kind of really easy. Um, oops, not that. This one. Oh, we're falling. Now I put this here. Uh, don't do that. Bad. And then you take the Flux cable, and we can put one here just like so, and then one here. And then, how do we get power to this guy? Um, I think we do something like this. And then we break these two. And we break these two. And we pull the items out of here instead. Yeah. So that way we can ease our yeah, more easily run power to here. So bam. That is how it looks. Um all of the proper items are going to the proper places. And so all we need to do is put an import bus here and an export or an import bus here and then an ME interface here and then connect it up and that's automated. And then we'll make the patterns later. But yeah, this is uh, almost good. What we need to do now is one more thing, and that is to pull the items out. I almost forgot. It's very important that you can get the items out of the system. Pull it out here, and we're just gonna run this right next to this wire. Well, okay. So now we do the great disconnect. Bad, 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 bad. Bam. So now this gets pulled out and run around over here and put up. So if we go like this, this now has power and these things should start to go. And if we did it right, except we didn't because I didn't put the engineering press in there and we don't have a silicone press, so we gotta copy it. Ooh, we got a couple things to do. Okay, so engineering press goes here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and steal this guy real quick. And we're gonna, actually, we can keep that guy in there. And I just need two blocks of iron so that I can pull items out or can uh, duplicate that press. That's all you need. It's pretty neato. So we'll just do two of them. Takes a bit of time. Bam, inscriber silicone press. And a second one, beautiful. Okay, so we put this here and now, okay, so we gotta change that up a little bit. We have to power it from the bottom instead of from the back so that we can pull the items out the back. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but we'll make it make sense. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is chuck some more in here and we'll watch this thing process up. And then eventually we'll put the speed upgrades in, but that just got pulled out. We're gonna be making the processor right now. Yep, and then it's filling in. And so here, yep, we have our engineering processors. Very, very cool. Okay, so you, that was a bit rough. I hope you guys were able to follow along, but this thing's now, uh, if we put items in here, like the items to make this, it will make it on its own. So this is automated. All we got to do now is connect it to the ME system. So I'm going to go ahead and make the calculation one here, and then we'll work on, um, I guess, we'll work on, I'm forgetting the word, we'll, we're, uh, uh, boards are hard. We'll work on connecting this to the system. That's what I was looking for.
All right. So the calculation processors are in. The The funny thing about this is not a single one of these are similar to each other. They are all different. <laughs> it's really funny. I did something different in each of them. Like this is kind of close to this one, but it's a little actually I think that one. Nope. Uh, pipe the those are those are different. <laughs> It, everything is different. It's hilarious, but they all work. So there's nothing really to worry about. Oh man, it just cracks me up. But the cool thing is now we have the ability to make some more of the ME controllers. So we can, you know, have more of these. So let's go ahead and make those. Uh, Cause before we were getting that error. Okay, I know we did way too many, but we add these around here now. Meow. And there we go. So now the bottom is ME controller, which is cool. We might end up going up here like this and then moving these three to be in the middle. Don't quite know yet. Don't know what we want to do. I do like having these here at eye level. So maybe we won't do it. Maybe we will. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Okay. So we need to make more dense cable, which means we need to make more cable. I opened my settings on my taskbar on accident. That was weird. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, key cable. So yeah, we need to make more of the Fluix cable. Okay, that is all of the Fluix cable that we can make. And then we just combine that one with wool. And then I believe it's just a two by two. Yeah. And then we combine it with redstone and glowstone. Yes. Okay. <sighs> we need to find, we need to get some wool automated because all I've been doing is this. That's our that's our string and wool section here. So industrial hemp gives us one per, so it's not a whole lot, but it will give us 16 more. So can you really complain? Not a whole lot. Okay. So then two by two. Yeah, 13. And I do have 16 left over, which is good. And we combine that light blue dye. Oh, frick. Well, shh. <laughs> I messed up. Oh no. Well, this is fun. Gosh dang. Okay. Is it one, one for one? So if I put this here, we click it. Okay, it's one for one. I'm gonna be here for... Okay, so hopefully this is enough cable to get us over there. Uh, I'm, oop, I'm not entirely sure if I'm being honest. We're just gonna run blue cable right in the middle. And then I'll show you guys the cable facades we can do afterward. Okay. So we bring the dense cable over here. This allows 32 channels and will allow us to connect all of these guys plus, so, ooh, that was the perfect amount. That was amazing. So blue channel over there. And the cool thing is you can have separate blue channels, but these, the, when you separate the colors, it just makes it so they don't, like you have a blue channel that won't connect to a red channel. It's just easier to separate different channels so you don't mix them up. So that is fantastic. Um, so that is an import bus that goes here. 
that goes there and it should say one channel and then two channels there perfect all right so now we got to make two emmy storage bar uh what are they what are the words okay so i have one emmy interface we need to make one more okay and then we need two import buses import buses bit of lag going on Kind of weird. Okay, now it's gone. So import bus, bam. And then import bus, bam. There we go. I could make this cable the same color, but I'm, I'm not gonna. There we go. And then we take these guys, do that. Connect that there. And then the final one. And then we just kind of pull it over. Whoops. There we go. So if we look here, six channels. Now we have six of these guys. So we put the pattern in here and it's good to go. Very cool. Let's go ahead and make some patterns. Okay, so we haven't used this yet. We made it a long time ago, but we need patterns um, in order to make things. Blank pattern applied energistics. Okay, so it doesn't require charged. What are we missing? Not a thing. Perfect. All right, put those there. Okay, so the processors. Um, nope, we need a gold ingot and some silicone. Oh, come on. Oh, I need to make more silicone already? Jeez, we go through that a lot. Okay, and then... So one gold, one silicone equals one logic processor. Let's go ahead and add that. So this is the gold one. No, this is the gold one here. So I put that. Wait, what? Where did that go? Oh, I think we got it mi mixed up. Um, that's odd. Emmy pattern provider. I believe this is what we need. Pretty sure this is what we're looking for, which is weird because now we have an Emmy interface and I'm not quite sure what it does. Okay, it definitely looks right. Um, but I don't believe we have any way of, uh, let's see. Um, processor, if I middle click. Yeah, no crafting CPUs available, okay. So we need to work on that. But let me go ahead and get the patterns made for the other ones. All we need is a diamond and a Certus Quartz Crystal. And so what I do is I swap it out and then we look for the processor. And here we go, calculation. We swap that out. So now that makes the calculation processor. And then we take this guy here, we swap this out. And that gives us the diamond, the engineering. Perfect, okay, I'll get this figured out. Okay, so check it out. We are able to see these three diamond chests, which is really cool. This is basically our processing area, or basically what we can, like we can see all of the different pattern providers, I guess is the proper term now, which is kind of weird when you ask me, but no one asked me, so who cares? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make some, well, we could make a few molecular assemblers. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We got, we got some stuff to spare. 
Okay, now we just need the glass. And we're out of the dust. What's the best way to turn this back into dust? I could crush it. The only way to do that is putting it in an inscriber. Cool. Seems probably have to automate this too then, which that's a lot easier to automate though, for being honest. Oh my, but we need a hopper. That's a little, a little tedious. Whoops. Okay, so this is processing up. Uh, not really, actually. I forgot, you can't take items out of the bottom. You have to take them out the side, which means we have to use a pipe. Which, oh, oh I clicked it. What the frick game? Which is a little annoying, not gonna lie. Okay. There we go. Bam. Now they're getting pulled out. Okay. I'll sit here for a bit, let these get crushed up, and then we'll make some more quartz glass. Okay. So we can go ahead. We have a full stack of quartz glass now. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it'll get the job done. So let's just make a few molecular assemblers. And we're out of this guy. That's fine. <laughs> I, I hate how that happens sometimes where it's like they teeter-totter back and forth on which one is out. Okay, so I just wanted 12 of these. We're going to need a few more of these too. Um, gosh, dang. Oh, not that one. This one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and connect these up over by these guys here. Uh, so we're just going to use the middle one for now. And I believe this is still how it works. I could be wrong, though. Okay. So those are different patterns. These, uh, these connect to each other. I think that's how it still works it could be different now i don't know if they changed it or whatnot um yeah but we need we need some cable i wish you could just die this one by one because i totally would hang on i got an idea what i clicked it dang it this freaking thing Okay, so if I place, no, you can't, you can't click these and change the color. Dang it! Requires you to make one more. Ah. Uh, okay, so I made one more of the dense cables. So we go ahead and make another eight. Just harvested what was there of the hemp seeds or whatever. So yeah, now we can go ahead, and I believe we just need to connect one of these up. Yep, they're all lit. We should see eight channels. And here we have 14, which means we can connect the other ones. Cool. So I don't think the molecular assemblers take up a channel. I believe just these do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Cool. So we now can auto craft things if, if, if we do something else. I just remembered. Um, we. Uh, what is it? What are these called? We need to make some crafting storage. Storage component. Well, we don't have any 1Ks created, so we're going to have to make some. And then we can go like this. And then we can make some 4Ks. Go like this. some 16 K's and then now we can make a couple more 64 K's. All right. So we're going to turn these into our crafting units, basically. Uh, oh, we are all out of those. So it looks like we're making one right now and that's going to make some more processors for us. Cool. Next gen crafting is right. Um, where do we put this? Oh, 
I mean, for now, I'm going to put it here. That will allow us to create more of the processors and get started. So we're going to make a few of these. Okay, so we're missing some silicone. We'll have to get that that started too. Cool thing is we have an alternative that will really help us make a lot of it. We're gonna make half a stack. Okay. So these are getting crafted up. If we look here, this one. Yep, as you can see, it's working. Amazing. I'm so excited. We have those automated dudes. And then uh, we can actually set up different patterns in here to get auto-crafted. Oh, man. We, we have hit, we've hit such a good point. I may move that over so I can put a block behind it. And then we can have, like, light sources back here so it'll illuminate. I don't know. I might just put, like, the more back there. Um, but, yeah, we have more of those getting created. So now we have some crafting CPUs, which is really good. Um, yeah, we can make these now. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, second one. Now we can add it to this guy, but I'm not gonna because I want I want a second one. We're gonna we're gonna have a good spot for that. Don't worry. We might put it actually like in the ceiling or something like that. Could be cool. But now we can auto craft things. We can set patterns, craft things. It's oh it's great. So we're gonna start with one case. Um wanna be able to auto craft these. Yeah, food substitutions, item substitutions, yeah, no. Uh, but yep, right here, molecular assembler. And now if we hit 1K, we can grab this guy, but we can also craft up like 10 of them and say start. And let's see, can we, can we see this in action? Which one did it go to? Ah, so went here. So it's gonna use both of these to auto craft it. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and move it to this one so it can use all four. We're gonna save these ones for that, but then we'll use this one and this one for like our bulk because it'll it'll be able to use utilize all four of these molecular assemblers to craft at one time. Um, but we're gonna need to get into co-processing units so it can do more than one thing. And oh man, that's a whole that's a whole deal that we'll get into later. Um, yeah, that's still crafting did it craft up those 1ks yet it did check it out oh man so there we go 1ks um hit uses let's go look at 4ks set up the recipe for that we can also set up the recipe for quartz glass um let's see here 16ks and then the final 64ks Perfect. Okay. So because the 1Ks are going to get crafted a lot and then the 16Ks are going to get crafted a lot, I'm going to put the 16, sorry, the 4Ks here. And then we can just put like the 16K and this one here so that it, it can just utilize both of these or something like that. It doesn't have to, to use all of them. So it, it'll just work better. But my goodness, auto crafting has been set up. We have our co-processing or we have our processing units. I'm probably going to put now that I think about it, I might put him here or replace these with the crafting stuff, the crafting uh, cells, these guys, the crafting storage so that we can do it. So basically what these do is these just hold the items while they're being crafted. Um, so like while our molecular assembler is like waiting, it basically holds the items, allocates them so that the craft doesn't like run out of materials on accident or something, so. Okay, so did a little bit of work off camera here and got these things looking a little bit better. They're just these warped barn, barn trap doors. Uh, they're not ideal, but they look better than just looking out into it. I might do like an interesting design in here or something like that, change it up. Uh, but those are working pretty decently now. But I want to go ahead real quick before we get going and show you guys a trick that was uh, shared with me in the comments. Um, it is this guy, the wireless heat transmitter. Um, and then this wireless heat receiver. This is a fan fantastic um, so we get to use our crazy op furnaces on rf power and i'll show you how we do it um, so i need to grab an energy cell here real quick i believe this one has a power in it okay 
But here, we're going to take this out. We, we're going to go ahead and place this, set it to output this uh, wireless heat transmitter here. We're going to link this heat receiver to this. As you can see, it says it's bound to. And then we're going to put this in here. Oh, and now we will smelt things with RF. Isn't that fantastic? It is one of the best things ever. So we are fully going to take... We're going to take advantage of that today. We totally are. And, um, yeah, we're going to put this... I'm thinking... So I wanted to do it there, but we need to have top and bottom access. So I think I'm just going to set up maybe two rows, maybe more right here. And we'll just, I'll just upgrade these. Oh, I have sound coming through my speakers. They need to be coming through my ears. I'm so sorry. Okay. That should be better now. I believe I can hear. I'm going to turn off my speakers. Okay. That was awkward. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead I'm going to grab the rest of my furnaces. Um, yeah, we'll grab another right one. I don't think we need that many, but we're, we're going to do it. And so the cool thing is because it is... Where did I put that? Ah, over here. Um, because it's applied energistics, we can, we can do it like this. Like it, It'll fit. Um... And then another, yes, yeah, so we can have three rows of Furni here. Oh my Lord. And each one of them is going to utilize power. So we have to make, we have to make as, we have to make nine of these. So these are not expensive at all. Um, one. Yeah. So I'm going to make some of these here real quick. Just need eight. Perfect. All right. Iron of Furni, and then we need the receivers, which is here. Um, and we need eight of these as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that is the perfect amount. So we can go ahead and set this up. I need to actually make some more iron furnaces. And I will upgrade these off camera. Don't you worry. They'll probably be all unobtainium the next time you see them. Now nah, they'll at least be all the modium, but not all the unobtainium. Okay, so this is going to get a little interesting. So we may, it might be a good idea just to upgrade this to the max, like the, the better tier dimensional cell. Um, I do, I'll well, just go ahead and do that. So, oh, come on, I clicked it. Pipe, and we're going to grab some power pipes. We're going to grab a netherite one of those and we we're gonna put this right below here yeah um oh i need to pull this out put this here and then we'll grab this okay so what we are doing is setting these up along the side And we'll be pulling power out of there. We're going to set that to this. And then we can put the ultimate upgrade in it so that these will have all the power we can shake a stick at. And then we just link all of these. So we have these two linked. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we don't get these mixed up because that would be goofy. Okay, so that side is completely done. Okay, and the final one, there we go, and we're in. So I'm gonna make sure that all of these are bound to one. We might be able to do it to one, but I don't know if it's one for one, I think it is. But now these all have power. So all we need to do is create nine, um, Nine of those those craftable things from Applied Energistics. I forget the name. Uh, applied Energistics. Let, let's see here. What are they called? This thing. I mean, Pattern Provider. So we have five. Uh, 
I'm gonna make 20 of them. We need one, whoop, we need one more. But we're gonna do a few more of those because we're gonna need them later. Okay, so nine of these. And then we need the import buses. So we need a few of these guys, that's okay. And we just need nine. Perfect. And I'm gonna, oh, come on, I clicked it. You guys heard it. I'm not going crazy, I promise. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need a dense cable for the stuff down here. Um, but we will be able to get away. Okay, so, okay, so import buses on the bottom, right? Because items come out the bottom on those, and then we go ahead and put these on the top. And as you can see, it allows us to sneak those in there, and we can sneak cables in there as well, and put cable facades on. Oh, uh, it's glorious. Oh, okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that we're going to have to basically run a dense cable here. Um, so yeah, we need to set up, we need to set up the hemp seeds to be automatically in these garden clashes. I'll probably set that up off camera. Um, but yeah, we can, we can smelt whatever we want in here now. That's all running off of power. Uh, which is crazy because we're that much closer to being able um, to like fully automate everything. Like uh, once we get that connected to the system, we'll be able to put items in here no problem. I forget where it's at, but yeah, we can even put cable facades on front so it doesn't look terrible, and these will just go whenever they're ready, and it'll be 100% automated. We don't have to worry about like fuel or anything like that. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're gonna wrap up the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure being with you here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. As always, subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next video. I've got some fun stuff planned. Stay tuned. Bye. -bye.